Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video uh, in regards to the Fire Stick 4K. I know I, I went over this in my other video briefly, but this is a popular device, the Fire Stick, and to any of you who have an OLED TV, I just want you to be aware if you haven't just seen this yet. If you try to calibrate your display uh, with this uh, uh, calibration menu here that the Fire Stick gives you, you're going to see that the arrows, the arrows in this one are aligned properly, but if you have your uh, TV at your default settings out of the box and you have just scan on auto, you're gonna see that the arrows are not lined up. On the default, if you reset this, it's not gonna be lined up. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, try to, let's see, look at one arrow and try to adjust that to hit the edge and then and then you're thinking, oh, if, that, if this one hits the edge and the other ones will fall into place. Actually here. Okay. So if you go to aspect ratio here. So you'll turn it on, you'll turn it it'll be on auto. And you'll see that the arrows are off are out of bounds at the uh, bottom right, left, top. And then you'll try to adjust it, one of them, and then think, oh the others will fall into place, but then you'll realize the right arrow and the top arrow will hit the edges, but then the bottom and then the left arrow won't, even though the, the other two do. And this drove me crazy eventually, because I had this on the B8, and then I realized I was playing with all the settings I could. You just have to turn Just Scan to on. Uh, this device, for the Fire Stick, for whatever reason, the, the way it displays content, you need, it's not, you have to go to Just Scan to adjust it to get properly, to get the calibration properly. And you don't even have to move the arrows. You can you could keep it on the default that it gives you. You just have to turn just scan to on, and boom, you have everything. It fits in now. So if you do have a Fire Stick 4K and if you do have an LG OLED, because I I've, this has only happened to me on my OLEDs before, you should uh, just check to make sure that this is uh, working for you.